we are on to choose your fate. <laughs> y'all, I, I come up and I want y'all to help me with this. I really want to think of titles for this segment. I have choose your fate now. It was really supposed to be choose. I thought that's what they said in Mortal Kombat when you actually remember when you pick your character and they have all the different um levels like you could do novice expert he says choose your destiny <laughs> so i screwed that up yeah thank you thank you <laughs> i screwed that up bad i said choose your fate okay so that was wrong so it was a bad name so choose your fate is not like it's the name and i had someone else say this or that this or that segment like video game edition this or that has been out for a long time but it's one of those where you either pick the yin or the yang and that's it Okay, you got to stick to your guns on your choice and you have to say why you picked that. That is what makes it such a tough thing. And these clips are growing. We have some with thousands of views and I'm, I'm loving it. So we're going to continue it. And I thank you guys for that. So um, without, and there we go, choose your destiny. All the classic Battletoad games, I would beat in order with no deaths back in the day. Solo, if you're beating Battletoad games with no deaths, you need to record that, sir. We need to be seeing that on Twitch or something, man. That's an accomplishment, sir. Okay, but without further ado, let's get to it. Now, nah, we're not going to do the monitor. There we go. Oh, I was about to say, what's going on? Now, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't even start this. I didn't even get to tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. Today's episode is going to be Choose Your Fate burger edition yes this is strictly about burgers guys if you do not know about a hamburger then you is not going to be able to say anything the reason we are going to do a burger edition because i know there's a national burger day i believe that's september 18th okay national burger day let's see when that is national burger day oh let's put it it shows me that but when is national burger day September 18th. So, so everyone here knows, okay? September 18th is National Burger Day. I want you to go out there and get you your best damn burger you can get, and I want you to tear it up, okay? And everybody knows I am a burger extraordinaire. I have burgers from across the world, okay? I want to try a $1,000 burger. That's something I haven't had. But I want to see how good you guys are with burgers, all right, so we're going to start here with our first one, which is a supersonic double stack versus the double shack burger. Mm, 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 mm. Now, for those who don't know, Sonic Burgers versus Shake Shack Burgers. And Neil, thank you. Happy Burger Day. Happy Burger Day to everybody. Dap me up. Dap me up. Okay. As Joe said, you don't have neither one of those there. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have had the luxury of having burgers from both. Okay. Ah, this is a tough one. Guys, it's a tough one. Okay. I'm one that don't like lettuce and all that crap on my burger, but I can tell you guys, Shack burgers are delicious. Okay. From Shake Shack and the Sonic burgers are delicious. Sonic burgers are very underrated. Just so you guys know, Sonic's is like the old school, you know, you pull up with your car, you roll your window down. Hey, hey yo, just so I let y'all know, Sonic's is the best place if you smoking a blunt. If you smoking a blunt, go to Sonic, cause you can go ahead, you can be, yeah. <coughs> yeah, let me get a, can I get a slushy? Uh, half, half blue raspberry. Yeah, can y'all put some nerves in that thing? Yeah, let me go. That's what you could do at Sonic. That's why Sonic is the bomb. You can, It's just chill. They roll up to you. Here's your meal. You know, it's beautiful. And the burgers are damn good. If I have to pick one, y'all. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Shake Shack, man. I'm going to go with Shake Shack. Hands down, Shake Shack. Now, Solo says Sonic. Oh, I feel you, Solo. I'm kind of, you know what? I wanted to pick Sonic, Solo. I want to pick Sonic. I'm going to tell you why I didn't pick Sonic. Because specifically, this is Choose Your Fate, and we're going off the two burgers. 
Now, as you look at the two burgers here, that's supersonic. I don't deal with all that. What is that, like onions and the pickles and all that? I don't deal with all that, right? So I had to scoop all that off, right? And I'm just eating a burger. So a cheeseburger, decent. I might have a little sauce left over. The shack burger, though, I can simply take off those lettuce. You might got some tomatoes in the back. It's going to come off easy. Bop, bop, bam. I can put my, my ketchup, my mustard. Bam, we good. So my answer to this one, final answer, Shake Shack. All right? That's what I say. Where I live, you might be able to buy a blunt at Sonic. You know what, Keithius? I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. You can buy a nickel bag of funk at Sonic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, hey, for those who do not know, Sonic ain't the only place you probably get a nickel bag of funk. Go to a McDonald's at 2 in the morning in the right location. You might get you a nickel bag of funk. Okay? And I'm saying nickel bag of funk. But y'all know what I mean. I mean that good greenery. But for this one, Shake Shack, hands down. Um, when it comes to burgers, I'm going to say the quality of the burger, I believe, is just a better quality burger from Shake Shack. Oh, man. And y'all know, now these burgers, these burgers, now I'm going to let y'all know, I haven't picked the burgers. So these are new to me. I'm not sure what's coming up. So it's surprising, and I have to, like, register. All right? I'm going to tell y'all, Red Robin versus Smash Burger. We got the Royal Red Robin versus the Classic Smash. Whoo, okay. Y'all, I'm going to be honest. I already got my uh, answer, hands down. It is the Royal Red Robin. Guys, I know a lot of you might look at the Royal Red Robin and go, Nick, that's a smash burger on the other side. What are you doing? It's a smash burger. You know how good smash burgers are? I don't think y'all had a good Red Robin burger. Good charbroil Red Robin burger. Delicious. Okay? Not to say the smash burger is not delicious. But Red Robin's just different. Now, let's talk about the specific burgers, right? Smash burger, as you see right now, we got the pickles, we got the lettuce, we got the tomatoes, we got the onions, we got the whole shebang. That smash burger is nice for the topping. So if you're looking for a classic type of burger, you have it right there in a smash burger. Looks delicious, though. I'm going to tell you guys, looks delicious all the way. The Red Robin, the egg. The only problem with the egg, I don't like when it drips out. Some of y'all might like the runny eggs and all that. I don't like that. I might tell them to scramble the egg, put a scrambled egg on that, or give me the powdered joint like McDonald's be doing. Yes, it's a powdered egg. They just stir it all up and then cook it, whatever. Give me that joint. Stick it on top. Delicious. So I'm going to go with the, uh, this one I'm going to go with the Royal Red Robin. Shout out National uh, Hamburger Day. It's the Royal, Royal Red Robin for me. Only like the Red Robins like that if I'm drunk. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Red Robins will serve you a beer too. <laughs> They'll serve you a beer. DJC Money, Red Robins, hands down. Let's go, DJC Money, Red Robins, man. I ain't going to lie. Smash Burger is nice and the classic Smash is a good burger. So I don't want to act like it ain't a good burger. It's damn good. MGR, dab me up. See you, my dude. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. The next one. Now, I take it that the next locations are probably going to be near a lot of people because these locations, a lot of people said weren't near them. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Y'all, I'm about to leave. This is this is the matchup. This is like the heavy hitters. Yo, hold up. This is this. Round two. Fight. Yo, this is the real one right here. Y'all, I'm going to need help. I'm going to need help with this. I need to see what the chat going. I already got my answer, but I want to see what everybody else going to say. Because I'm going to say what I'm going to say regardless. We got on the left one of the world's most famous burgers. Billions served. And people still buy this one to this day. The sauce has been labeled some of the most famous sauce there is. Big Mac sauce. On the left, you got a heavy hitter. Big Mac! On the right, you got one of the most classic burgers around. This burger made the king relevant. It would be no king without this burger. This burger, charbroiled, coming fresh off that flame broiled grill. Okay. Y'all, on the right, we got the Whopper. I want to ask y'all, 
Which one do you choose? For me, it is an easy. The Whopper, not close. Now, that's me. This is the reason. Big Mac, I don't like all the extra stuff. I don't want the pickles. Onions can be on there. I'm fine, but I usually don't like the onions. Big Mac sauce is cool. I eat the Big Mac sauce. The bread. I'm the type that eat bread. You know what I mean? I'm a bread ass eating mug. You know what I mean? So I understand. You know, but some people don't like the bread. Respect. But I've gotten Big Macs with just ketchup, mustard, and cheese, and they are delicious. Okay? But it's not that charbroiled Whopper. Oh, my Lord. Yo, Impossible Whopper tastes good. It ain't even got to be real meat. Y'all, and by the way, I believe if you leave a, a, a Whopper out too long, you might see some mold on it, unlike a McDonald's Big Mac, okay? So I think the Whopper might be a little real. The Whopper feels more authentic. It feels real when you eat it. It is a more quality burger. I think it is Burger King, hands down, with the Whopper. The Whopper. Let's go, Burger King, okay? Now, let me get to the chat. I want to see this. Uh, BK all the way, Whopper. Okay, Big Mac has too much bread. Okay, BK. So we good on that. So everybody unanimously, we agreed, the Whopper. We might have something to say Big Mac, but I'm going to go with the Whopper. All right, now, the Whopper. Just looking at the Whopper, I'm hungry, y'all. That shit is making me hungry. Y'all, National Burger Day is going to be the worst day. I'm going to go out and get burgers. I might do some damn videos that day and just take burgers and start doing damn uh, clips. Hey, guys, I got the burgers side by side. <laughs> The Whopper's the winner. You know what I mean? Like, oh my goodness. How about this? The Whopper with Big Mac sauce. Ooh. Joe, you made me pause it. The Whopper with Big Mac sauce. I want to ask everybody out there. Has anybody ever ate a Whopper from Burger King with Big Mac sauce? Now, some people say it's Thousand Island sauce. So you can find that at your local Walmart or grocery store somewhere. But have you ever had a Whopper? With Big Mac sauce. That's a good, that's a, oh man, that's a cheat code. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a cheat code, man. And good, oh man, I love me a Whopper, bro. I'm a sucker for a Whopper. Okay, so already I got my three choices. Now this one's, a, that was a little tough. I'm not even gonna lie, that was a little tough. Oh, we get into some challenges. Now, now we starting to talk. Now we talking, okay? Y'all, this one's simple for me. Um, for those who do not know, these are two very popular burgers from two very popular brands or establishments, Wendy's and In-N-Out. To me, In-N-Out, the quality of their burgers tastes more authentic. The ingredients are a lot more fresh, and you feel like you're getting more of a homemade burger when you're coming from In-N-Out. When you go to Wendy's, you feel like you are being the best fat boy you can be. You are getting the most delicious uh, piece of beef that you can bite, that is juicy with bacon and mayonnaise, and it is just swole. And you bite it and you go, man, that is delicious. These are two challenging ones. But for me, guys, and I'm going to say, I don't know which one y'all choose. I'm going to go Baconator. Okay? I just think, y'all, I, I, did, I didn't even like the Baconator. I thought the Baconator was disgusting. And then my wife had one, and she said, you want to try it? I said, man, let me take a bite. I'm hungry. I'll take a bite. What does it got on it? She told me what it have on it. I took a bite, and I've been in love ever since. So I'm going to go with the Baconator, hands down, no discussion. All right? And I see Joe. I have to pick Wendy's. There is no in and out by me, and that is what she said. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now we're going to move on to, oh, my goodness. This is cheating. This is not even fair. This is not fair. Bro, we got the original Freddy's Burger versus the original Steak and Shake. These are two double burgers from two famous establishments, and they both have steak burgers. I got a couple questions. First, do both of these burgers taste different? All right, because I've had them both on separate occasions, and to me, the memory serves me. They taste the same. They both taste like steak burgers, and they're smashed. Like, that's what they taste like to me, okay? That might just be me. 
But Freddy's is known for steak burgers. Steak and Shake is known for steak burgers. Freddy also has custard, right? Steak and Shake also has shakes. So I don't know. This is a tough one for me. Um, I'm going to go with Steak and Shake just because it is the known one by me. It, it's been used multiple times. And look, Magnus never had either of them. Yo, these burger establishments, what's going on now? I will say this. I've, I don't have a lot of these establishments around me either. I have traveled and tried some of the burgers. You know what I mean? But you're right. A lot of these brands, they may not be all over across the globe. Okay, they're in different parts. Like, we have Freddy's and Steak and Shakes. We don't have a lot of them. You know what I mean? So I understand what you mean by that. Steak and Shakes, we have them closing left and right. And Freddy's, I think we just had one open up close by. So I will have to say Steak and Shake, but I don't think the burgers are much different between Freddy's and Steak and Shake. They're both steak burgers. I think even the toppings are very similar. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. Guys. Woo, this is another one. Round two. Fight. I'm going to have to ask y'all. Which one do y'all pick? On the left, one of McDonald's famous burgers. Once this burger came out, every time you hear the word quarter pounder, people think of this establishment, McDonald's. The quarter pounder with cheese is so famous. I think I know how to say it in French. Is it a Royale with cheese? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's how you say it in French. Um, but quarter pounder with cheese is one of the most famous hamburgers in the United States of America. If you're saying it's not, you're lying. All right. And to the right, we got the famous star by Carl Juniors. Y'all, if you don't if you're not familiar with Carl Juniors, let me tell you something. Carl Juniors is a delicious establishment. And they also charbroiled their burgers. Yes, flame broiled. They do the same thing like Burger King with their burgers. So I will have to say. Carl's Juniors is partner or sister brother companies, whatever you want to say, with Hardee's. So if you have not had Carl Juniors, you probably had Hardee's, okay? Which is very similar. Um, just think of Checkers and Rallies, right? Two establishments, brother, sister, same thing. So if you haven't had a Carl Juniors, you may have had a Hardee's. Think of the same. Um, when it comes to my choice, it's going to be very simple. The famous star from Carl Jr.'s. It's not even close for me either. I love a quarter pounder with cheese. Don't get me wrong. It is delicious. But guys, the famous star is delicious, man. If y'all have not had the famous star from Carl Jr.'s, I suggest you guys go check it out. I'm sure you've had a quarter pounder from McDonald's. I'm sure, okay? But please try out a Carl Jr.'s burger. It is delicious. For this one, I'm going to go with the famous star from Carl Jr.'s. Okay, that is my answer. Final answer, we are in. Now, Keithia's, Hardee's is Carl Jr.'s. Okay, Hardee's is Carl Jr.'s, like he said. Um, Carl Jr., all the way, they're super good, my man Joe. I had a steak and shake near me, but it closed a year ago. Man, Keithia's. White Castle better be on that list. Solo. All right, Nick, I got I to gotta work, man. What you doing? It's all good. It's all good. You know I got you, my dog. Dap me up, hairy knuckles and all. All right. So, oh, my Lord, there we go. Guys, this one is like Mario versus Wario. Luigi versus Waluigi. This is what we have, the original slider from White Castle versus the original slider from Crystals. Let me ask everybody in the chat. First of all, who has had both? A lot of people who have had White Castle have not had crystals. And I've had people who have crystals not have White Castles. So, I have had the luxury of having both. So, I can tell you, hands down, my choice. Okay? 
My choice is very simple. It is based on a matter of multiple taste tests. It does not matter about the toppings in these choices, okay? Or this choice, excuse me. This choice is based strictly on the burgers, the way they are, the way they come. The burger choice that I choose is very simple. The original slider from White Castle. It's a no-brainer. I know a lot of you might think that these burgers are the same when you look at them. Trust me, they are not in taste. Crystal's um, burgers are more, how can I say it? Their burgers are more hearty. So for instance, you get a White Castle burger, you feel like, like you could just eat the whole damn White Castle burger at one point. Or you could bite, bite, in two bites, you're done, right? With Crystal's, it feels, it's the same size, but you feel like when you bite it, you're actually biting like, you know, the bread is a better quality bread, I will say that. And the meat feels like a better quality. But guys, when you eat a White Castle slider, it feels like the most tastiest, greasiest, sloppiest piece of crap you can eat. It's delicious. And it stinks. Okay, it smells good to me. But multiple people tell me, oh my gosh, you smell like White Castle. Like, bro, White Castle has a smell. Have you ever walked into a house where they're eating White Castle? It has a smell. You walk into a White Castle, you smell it. If you drive by a White Castle, you will smell White Castle. It has a very particular smell, okay? But delicious. So final answer, Crystal's hands down is the loser. <laughs> <laughs> white castle burgers all day man y'all crazy if you think it ain't white castle burgers now that is it final answer guys thank you for the choose your fate segment